FTPing into your original Xbox, what we're going to want to do first is set up the internet connection to do so, or the uh, I guess FTP connection to do so. Go over to Change Adapter Settings, Wireless Internet Connection 2, Disable. Oh, no internet. Go to Local Area Connection Properties, IPv4 Properties. Use the following IP address. 192.168.0.1 Subnet mask. If you just hit tab, it'll autofill itself. If it does not, 255.255.255.0. Default gateway, we're going to leave blank. DNS server addresses uh, blank. Hit OK. Now make sure you've got a, preferably a crossover cable. Um, I have used just a regular straight through Ethernet cable in the past. Um, it was a Belkin. That's the only one that worked. Uh, I guess the higher up you go, you know, the better they are. Anyways, um, so plug that in from your computer to your Xbox. <laughs> Alright, so now what we are going to do, we are going to open up our uh, Flash FXP5 client or FileZilla client, whatever you have chosen. I am on day two, except. So, what we want to do, if you're using Flash FXP, it's perfect. Quick connect. Connection type FTP. Address or URL 192.168.0.2 for the Xbox. Now, if you notice when we were um, setting up the you know, the stuff on the Xbox, I went down and I was highlighting where it said Xbox Xbox Port 21. There was a reason right here. Port 21 username Xbox. Password is. Xbox. Connect. Hey look, we are connected and we are at the directory of our hard drive in our Xbox. C drive has our dash and everything. We're going to go to the E drive. Click on apps. Right there. Gonna go to the desktop for this one. We are. Uh, I'm putting Xbox Media Center on here. Um, I'll put a link for that if you guys want to download it. It's awesome. <laughs> and we are started. And if you are looking at your Xbox, if you have the dashboard set up similar to me, and you can see your hard drive partitions, you'll notice that your E drive uh, size is decreasing. Good sign. Good sign. And so after this is done, you can, um, I mean, this is what you're going to do to get stuff onto your Xbox. It's the easiest way. It takes a bit longer, as you can tell from the screen. But it's worth it.
And it's done. So, that's all there is to it. Not very hard at all. Just takes a little bit of configuration. And, because we had to disconnect from the internet, we will now go back and set it up. As you can see, I'll pull up Google. Oh, unable to connect to the internet. Go figure. Network and sharing adapter settings enabled. And enable. Jump back over to properties of your local area connection. Properties. Really? Yeah, that's what I thought. And so, that is all. Jump over to the Xbox really quick and uh, show you that it worked. Now, what you're going to be seeing, wherever I put it, uh, I bet you it's in downloads. Yep. So, what you're going to be seeing is this, and you have to turn it into this. So, you should probably just use this, because it's free, and so is this. So, well, yeah. There you have it.